Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. So in today's video, we are simply going to discuss how we charge by friction or how we charge by rubbing. So these are two bodies right here, as you can see on your screen. I have, let me call this body A and let me call this body B. We are going to rub these two bodies and I'm going to be able to explain how these two bodies get actually charged when they get rubbed. Now, before we go into the details, I would like us to take note that uh, for every body, when the body is neutral, what that means is that it has the same positives as there are negatives. So from here we can see that it's having the same positives as there are negatives. Of course now, okay, the thing here is that, of course, we all know the structure of the atom. If I may draw something roughly here, if that is the atom, you know, it has a nucleus that is positive, then it has electrons that are always around the nucleus. And it is these electrons that are always continuously moving. I mean, if I'm to draw electrons here, these electrons are always moving. Well, I'm not going to go into all those details just to make this um, this picture completely, you know, um, simple. I'll just put it this way, that for a body that is, you know, neutral, it means it has the same positives as the same, the same amount of positives and negatives. The charges cancel themselves out. So it, it's relatively the same. That's what it means to be, you know, neutral. Now, when we say that a body is positively charged, it doesn't mean that the body only has positive charges. No, it simply means that the body has more positives than negatives. The negatives are always there. The same is true when we say that a body is negatively charged. If a body is negatively charged, it simply means that there are more negative charges or there are more electrons they are more negatives than positives. That is, in other words, the net charge on the body is negative. That's what we mean. So this is exactly what happens. Now, when these two rub, uh, bodies rub each other, let me say they are going to rub each other like that. That is A rubbing and B rubbing with B. What happens is that now um, these bodies, their surface, there is such a thing we call work function. What is work function? Of course, work function is simply the minimum amount of energy that is required to get these electrons to move away from the surface of a body. Think about it this way. If we are two individuals, you know, and... Uh, both of us are human beings who can easily get angry. Now, if I can come and slap individual, this individual A, and that is individual B, if I can come and slap individual A, they can smile. If I come and slap individual B, they could get angry. So, if I come and slap individual A, and then I slap individual B, but... Instead, individual A smiles, but individual B, like, you know, gets angry. It simply means that, you know, the threshold of anger for individual B is much higher than that for individual A. What I'm trying to say is that it is easy to get individual B angry as compared to individual A. So consider the issue of getting angry and not getting angry as the work function. The amount of energy you need to get an electron from the surface of a body. So that's what the work function. So in other words, everybody has a, a certain amount of work function. So the body that has a lower work function will be able to release, you know, electrons more than the other body. So when these two bodies start rubbing each other, the body that has a lower work function, in other words, one that can easily get angry, will release its electrons sooner than the other one. So when it releases its electrons, 
it means that these electrons are released and they move to the, the other body. So let's assume that body A in this case has a lower work function. So the electrons, the negative charges then, will move. Let me draw this again here. So what we're having here is that this body as a, these bodies are now rubbing. So when they rub each other, like they we're seeing here, there is rubbing going on here. As they rub each other, body A has a lower work function than body B. So body A, the one that has a lower work function, is going to lose its electrons to body B. Like that. So when, of course it's not going to lose all its electrons, but some of the electrons in A will move to B. Remember, it's electrons that move. The positives don't move, it's the electrons that move. So when these electrons flow from body A to body e, B, what happens at the end is that you're going to remain with So from what you can see here, when um, these electrons drift from body A to body B, you'll find that this body A has more positive charges and this body B has more negatives. So because this body has more negatives than positives, then meaning that this body has a net negative charge. The same is true with this one, because now this one, it has lost electrons, so it has more positives than negatives, so this one has a net positive charge. So, because as a result of that rubbing, you realize that A, body A, has now a positive charge, body B has a net negative charge, and the two charges are equal but opposite in nature. So maybe just to give some examples of the bodies when they rub each other. What two bodies? For example, we can get a glass rod and rub it with a silk cloth. What happens when these two rub each other? When those two rub each other, a glass rod will turn out to be positively charged and the silk cloth will turn out to be negatively charged. That's an example. Let's look at another scenario. Let's say another two bodies rub each other ebonite rod and far when ebonite rod rub each other with far the far will definitely lose electrons so the far will become positively charged and the ebonite rod will become negatively charged those are just some examples and of course, this goes without saying, please take note that when in our explanation here, when we are talking about work function, we are talking about the minimum energy that is required to remove an electron from its surface. That is work function, the minimum amount of energy we need to remove an electron from its surface. And of course, a body that has a lower work function means that an electron will be able to go off the surface easily. We shall explore more about work function when we are doing photoelectric effect.